Today we're gonna unbox and build the Red Scorpion Leviathan. Spiky bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. Rob Bear with you again today, and we're gonna unbox and build the brand new Red Scorpions Leviathan Dreadnought. Carib Colon, the man, the myth, the legend. He has had uh, at least one, I think one. <laughs> version I know they made a Terminator model of him and now he has fallen but he will rise again this is the brand new Carib Cullen the Risen let's jump over the Forge World and check it out so here's the site <laughs> we all uh, know and love so much jump over to the new stuff because it is a new release and scroll down all sorts of good stuff in here Carib Cullen the Risen Look at this bad boy right here, Leviathan Dreadnought, 80 pounds, I think that's 110 US dollars. Still available within three shipping days, let's take a look at some of this detail here. Got the twin assault cannons, 300 killer missiles, all sorts of dope iconography, look at this. Look at all that detail right there, and of course he has the apothecary symbol, we know that's their big thing there the red scorpions are all about some feel no pain or ignoring wounds on a six up i guess it's called now in this edition of warhammer 40k comes in a nice little collector's box the blue box so to speak with the akila on it and the instruction box let's add it to cart and get cracking and boom it's at my door just like that so here it is in the cool little blue collector's box, kind of like the opposite of the Horus Heresy uh, series. Now this is for 40K, of course. Instruction manual, double clam pack of awesomeness here, and a little how to work with resin guy thing. We have a couple videos on uh, the channel here, of course. There's all your parts. All protected little foamies. I really like how they're coming through with better, uh, better shipping and things to protect everything. So, uh, but we have a couple of videos on the channel, how to work with resin. How to bend res and stuff like that we'll probably link them uh below for you you all right there so i like to rate these things on how many steps or how many how many steps they are kind of like a lego kit this is only a 14 stepper Woo! but it does have a lot of parts here you can see the left and right greaves you know all the detailed stuff here left and right armor halves this thing is completely poseable it's, it, these are really fun to work with uh had a blast put the first one together when they first came out like not this january but i think last january i want to say so it all goes together relatively well. Looks like it's got a stepping foot, a flat foot, uh, maybe only one of each in this kit, but we're about to find out as we put it together. And then you get to the top, which you should be able to keep the torso top and the head separate so we can paint those like a yellow. If we get around to painting this, we might just do a giveaway for it. And then the kneecaps we can keep separate too. The arm will be all posed. And it looks like there's an ammo feed that's probably gonna restrict yeah, it looks like it's probably going to restrict how much movement we can do there, which is unfortunate. Um, but I'm not going to I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here. We're just going to assemble it relatively the way that is. So I got to think of a pose where he's kind of um, um, maybe kind of running and kind of swinging this thing here because he's got a special attack he can do with the with the fist. Let's take a look at the parts real quick. Pop this bad boy open. So um, all of the front. Front and left half here, you can see you got the scorpion motif with a little bit of, uh, looks like rays of light kind of coming down. Ooh, right there, it looks like the, the mold split a little bit in the jig, so you got to separate, so we'll have to scrape that down. That's no big deal. Sometimes that sort of thing happens, a little uh, section right there with some great detail on it. And I'm sure the knees, yeah, here's the knees, it says cone on it. And already got cat hair on things. There's the uh, the front kneecap still looking looking so fresh right there. So that's the first batch, and of course we'll we're gonna put this bad boy together here in a second. Tell you how good it is to work with, and check out his rules. Here's the rest of the parts. Nothing to really write home about quite that much yet. Anything? It looks like the head has some uh, livery on it, some wreaths. Kind of see right there he's got all that and front the crux because remember he was a terminator previous to falling in battle only to be resurrected into leviathan tactical dreadnought armor 
I guess tactical dreadnought armor is terminator armor. Never mind. That looks to be about all the cool stuff here, Akula, on that particular piece. All right, so now we're down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna glue this bad boy together and come back and show you how cool it is. Woo! And just about 45 minutes later, we have this beautiful beast that you see before you. I left a couple of pieces a little loose in here. You can see these will come out and there's also another little armor plate that goes back here on his claw right here that I figured um, could be painted up yellow in order to look a little bit better. But I mean, overall, you definitely get the idea here. I mean, he is beautiful and fully poseable. I mean, I have him kind of striding with the assault cannon here, just kind of uh, gatting. I kind of tacked this right here, decided to go back and magnetize it so it can swivel, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And the arm here also is a little kind of tack held into place, but I mean, beautiful miniature. And this will pop, actually pop out. Uh, so it can be painted separately because the rocket pods can be a red and this can be like a, a white or a yellow, depending on what you want to do on, on the helmet and paint all that up. But I mean, there's lots of options here. It's a beautiful miniature with this great pose where he's just kind of striding and kind of looking, you know, looking to his left, our right, just kind of gadding. Uh, it's just it's hard to get the pose here because the head keeps bobbling but I mean it just looks very dynamic the way we set up the claw right there everything goes together pretty well for the most part I had a little gripping issue I had to pull something off on the back plate here but that's no big deal uh, sometimes you have to get a little forceful but try if you think you're gonna mar the surface <laughs> try to do it in an area that it's okay where there's like a vent or something so that you can you know do all your uh, kind of oxidization effects and things like that these things just keep falling off so we're just gonna take them off but everything in here is good to go everything's pretty tight tolerances I mean there's some gaps here at the bottom underneath the, the exhaust pipes but it's not that big of a deal nobody's really gonna see it so I ain't gonna sweat it and then right here uh, the ammo feed lined up perfectly I mean you can adjust it and do some other crazy things right there but I think this was good enough just to show you all how crazy the detail on how gorgeous this miniature is so now that we know how cool and of course obligatory cat hair has already crept onto the scene now that we know already how cool this miniature is let's go over and take a look at his rules boom back to forge world site oh it's just a beautiful beautiful miniature right there incredible uh let's scroll down to downloads Rules download, we got a PDF here because he isn't out in a book yet, so they give it to us. 360 points on the day right there. Oh, it doesn't look like my cursor shows up. Nope, it does, cool. So 360, uh, the Dreadnoughts with the two Storm Cans, I believe is 369. So this is on par with that. It's got some really interesting stats, gonna hit on twos, they always do. Does he ignore moving and firing heavy weapons? So be aware of that, it looks like. He has the normal Leviathan stuff. Four up and vulnerable save for the Loyalist, which is really cool. Kind of the flip-flop from the Chaos one. You're gonna explode, it could be bad. If it does on a five or a six, You're gonna blow up nine inches on D3. And smoke launcher is built in. It has three hunter killer missiles, which are cool, hitting on twos. Heavy flamer, heavy bolter. The Talon, Scorp Eye, the Taurus Scorp Eye, and the Twin Assault Cannon. So going to be putting down a lot of DACA, but probably going to have to be moving to do it. So going to be hitting on threes. But then again, if you have a captain nearby, you're going to get those rerolls, which is pretty dope. Uh, special rules wise, he's going to have a grapple attack if you roll a hit with six. Uh, for the Talon and melee, you can negate the rest of your shots with your heavy bolter in order to do a d6 mortal wound attack which seems maybe pretty good <laughs> uh depending on what you're attacking i suppose and proud to live proud to die hard to kill roll a d6 each time a friendly red scorpion model within six loses a wound and on six that model does not lose that wound track you know going back to the heritage of their apothecary kind of nature and the old feel no pain mechanic that they used to confer over to everybody there so really cool rules very very full of flair 18 uh, power level but it is 360 i feel like we could see some of these on the tabletop but regardless i mean it's just a beautiful miniature um you know to put in any army 
that has the red scorpions to take you know full advantage of whatever abilities they might have you can sub them in off the chaos or excuse me <laughs> the loyalist codex you can say hey i want this ability to be the red scorpions i think until we get one in the index on the imperial armor index i have to ch double check on that but i'm pretty sure that is correct yet yeah, until we get uh specific books back from forge world besides these appendices that they have released yet so that is pretty much it for this one i hope you enjoyed all this forge world goodness here now if you like these video features here on the channel make sure to work out those hobby muscles hit that subscribe button turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our new video features Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.